Hi guys, welcome back to our last week of school for second grade. We are going to be finishing up Leroy Ninker. And since it's the last week, I decided we don't really need to focus on anything in particular. I'm just going to read you the last chapter so you can enjoy it. So remember, what we read before was Leroy Ninger got his horse Maybelline, and there were three rules that he had to remember. So Maybelline um, needs a lot of compliments, she can't be left alone, and she needs a lot of food. And in the last couple of chapters, um, Leroy had gone inside his apartment to get an umbrella for Maybelline, and Maybelline didn't understand, so she ran away, and she was lost for a couple of chapters. But in chapter 8, the one we read last week, they finally found each other on Dekawoo Drive, and hopefully you guys really thought about it and you remember who else that we know of lives on Dekawoo Drive. But we will find out, so let's get started. Chapter 9. Leroy Ninker opened his eyes. He saw a small girl. Is it? she said. Is that your horse? Yes, said Leroy Ninker. This is my horse. She was lost and I tracked her through the mud. She was lost and I found her. Uh-huh. What's her name? Maybelline, said Leroy. My name is Stella, said the girl. Can I pet your horse? Yes, said Leroy Ninker. But what this horse really likes is a compliment. Do you know how to give a compliment? Of course I do, said Stella. She put her hand on Maybelline's nose. She looked Maybelline in the eye and said, You are a very nice-looking horse. You are the nicest-looking horse I have ever seen. Of course, I have never seen a horse before, but I have seen a pig. There is a pig who lives on this street. I know that pigs and horses are not the same at all, other than that they both have sh hooves, even though they are a different kind of hooves. You have very nice hoofs, by the way. What pig lives on Dekawoo Drive, guys? Who is it? Maybelline twitched her ears this way and that. She let out a pleased-sounding chuff of air. Stella! shouted a boy. Stella, watch out! Horses can be very dangerous. They can kick out suddenly with their hind legs and harm the unsuspecting. That's my brother Frank, said Stella to Leroy. He worries a lot. Do you guys remember Stella and Frank? Maybelline put her nose up in the air. She sniffed. She whinnied and put a question mark at the end of the whinny. We are smelling is toast, said Stella to Maybelline. Every morning, Mrs. Watson makes toast for her pig. Mercy is the name of the pig, and she is a pig who likes toast with a great deal of butter on it. Have you ever had toast with a great deal of butter on it? It's very good. Wait a minute, said Leroy Ninker. Is this Dekawoo Drive? This is Dekawoo Drive, said Stella. I have been here before, said Leroy. Uh-oh. Remember the last time he was here, he was stealing from the Watsons. Oh, no. Just as Leroy Ninker finished saying these words, a woman stepped out on the front porch of the house next door. She was holding a butter knife in her hand, and a pig was standing beside her. Good morning, Stella, called the woman. And Mr. Ninker, it is lovely to see you again. Hello, Mrs. Watson, said Leroy Ninker. I would like for you to meet my horse, Maybelline. Well, said Mrs. Watson, what a wonderful horse. She looks like a true equine wonder. You must both come inside and have some toast. But I don't know if Maybelline will fit through the door, said Leroy. Oh, heavens, said Mrs. Watson. There is always a way to make things fit. Come inside, come inside. Come on, said Stella. She took hold of Leroy's hand. Leroy turned to his horse. He said, come with me, horse of my heart. We are going to eat some toast. The cowboy started to walk. The horse followed along beside him. The cowboy and the horse went inside. The end. So look, we can see lots of our lots of our favorite people. We've got obviously Leroy and Maybelline, and there's Mercy and Mrs. Watson and Mr. Watson. And remember, um, Stella and Frank, I think is his name, he, they were in that book about the um, animal control officer, Francine Poulet. Remember that one? There were those two kids and they helped Francine Poulet become, re become an animal control officer when she got scared. So we've got all of those people who live on Dekawoo Drive. And there are actually a lot more of these books. So if you guys 
and you like these books, if you really, um, if you like the Mercy Watson and Francine Poulet and Leroy Ninker, there are um, a ton of other books by this same author. So um, I, if you go to your library, I'm sure they have lots of the Mercy Watson books and you can just take a look and that could be some of your summer reading. So this is the end of Leroy Ninker Saddles Up. Um, we will be on the lookout for maybe some more Leroy Anchor books and uh, have a great summer. Go have some toast with a great deal of butter on it. <laughs>